This is called Translational uh, Bitcoin Development, or why Johnny can't verify. Uh, yeah. Okay, so quick intro. Uh, I'm Taj Dreiser. Uh, stuff I've worked on in Bitcoin over the last you know, decade is uh, the Bitcoin Lightning Network paper, uh, discrete law contracts paper, U3XO, and you know, building out a lot of that software. Uh, in terms of places I've worked, uh, Lightning Labs founded that, and then MIT BCI is uh, where I used to work for a couple of years, and now I'm at a company called Lightspark. I'll work on that. Do you want the headset? Oh, sure. Just pop that on real quick. Does that make me louder? I'm pretty yeah. loud. Yeah. Okay. Put it on the back of the head. Then we can hear it better. And then the switch unmutes it, and okay. I'll get this as get as I can. Unmute. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, okay. This is on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to like I think. We're at a Bitcoin thing. This is like a hardcore Bitcoin thing. I don't know if people were here last night. They went to Pleb Labs. It was like very cool. There's lots of Bitcoin stuff. Um, so, but first I'm going to talk about like, do we even agree on the goals? And probably not. Like people have different ideas of what Bitcoin should be. Like the, I, I think I made up the term like Bitcoin is the currency of enemies. Like everyone sort of got very different ideas and people fight about stuff. But yeah, maybe people can agree with this. I think, you know, for me, I want lots of people to use Bitcoin and Lightning Network. Um, fully verifying on hardware, they control their own hardware. Uh, I think things like Net Lightning Network, Utrex, all that kind of stuff helps, right? But to me, part of the goal is, okay, we want the, well, that's recording me, okay, so I should be a little farther. Um, <laughs> we should, you know, try to get it so people can run full nodes, so people can verify the whole thing, so you like, everyone gets this trustless property. Um, and I think, I don't want to speak for everyone here, obviously, totally different, but, like, we know Bitcoin, right? Like maybe even if you're like, you can say like, I'm a noob, but like you're at Bitcoin plus plus, like you're not a noob, right? Like, um, you know, we run Bitcoin, we compile it from source, we GPG verify all the different, you know, maintainer signing keys, we got reproducible builds with geeks, and it's like a custom Linux kernel that won't, you know, work with projectors, and we've got like a hand soldered risk v risk five board, and you know, Bitcoin works. like. We can get Bitcoin, you're know, like, oh, I want to send a payment? Like, easy, just <laughs> send a payment, you know? Um, we sync up, we've got notes. So that part works for us. Um, but most people don't know Bitcoin, right? So I don't know to what extent, like once you've worked on Bitcoin for a while, like a lot of my friends work on Bitcoin and stuff like that, but I still have friends that are not Bitcoin people. So hopefully you guys do too. Um, <laughs> but like a lot of them are computer people because I've been working on computers for longer than I've been working. Like I've been doing computer stuff my whole life. So a lot of my friends are like, some of my friends are like video game developers, right? And they don't really, I mean, they think Bitcoin's cool or they, you know, say that to, you know, not have me bug them. But they work on like, you know, Unity and they develop games or something. Or they work on, you know, they, they know computers, but they're not Bitcoin people. Um, and a lot, for a lot of people, it's scary. Um, Bitcoin doesn't work like other stuff. Terminology is tricky. You know, the monoid category Vendo functor. Like it's, it's, <laughs> it's, you know, oh, you just, you know, this PBST and there's so many HTLCs and like, what are all these things? I just want to send people money. Um, but I think a lot of people want the same thing we do, right? They, they, a lot of people I've talked to get the idea and they're like, yeah, that, I want that. I don't want to like dedicate my life to Bitcoin. Right, but I want, I don't want to develop Bitcoin. I'm not gonna program it, but I want what that offers. Um, and so here's an example that this is sort of why I was like, oh, I want to talk about this. So this is, you know, this talk, just a disclaimer, it's not gonna be super technical. Uh, it's gonna be hopefully more of a discussion. Uh, I don't have any new amazing cryptographic cool thing. It's it's sort of <laughs> reflecting on like the last six months, uh, especially this. So FTX went down like November, I think. And, you know, a lot of my friends message me. And, you know, this is also, one, it's frustrating because it's like, wait, Mel Gox, that was like eight or nine years ago. That was a really long time ago and the same thing's happening, right? It's just it's the exact same thing. And like when, when Joseph and I were working on the Lightning Network paper, that was also a long time ago. And that was, Mel Gox was like very much in our minds. So Lightning Network, we, I sort of thought like the first uses would be exchanges because people aren't going to trust exchanges anymore. So they're going to want channels with their exchange. Never, maybe it's happening now, but it, yeah, it didn't quite go that way. Anyway, so people message me uh, back in November 
right? And they're like, hey, just saw about FTX. I should get my coins off Kraken. And I was like, yeah, you should. Like, and then people are like, hey, just saw this news. Do you think Gemini's okay? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, it's probably okay. Like, I don't, you know, Gemini seems like a well-run exchange. I don't know. I haven't really talked to them. But um, yeah, but you should, you know, you should move stuff to your own. No, you should just run Bitcoin, right? Um, let me know if you need help. And I did help people. Okay, so here's what happened. So I'm going to uh, do this right now. Um, let's see. Uh, it's download and install Bitcoin Core 23.0. That was the one that was out uh, November. And it's hard, right? So if you go to Bitcoin.org, it doesn't have it. Bitcoin.org hasn't been updated for well over a year. Uh, so you got to go to Bitcoin Core. Uh, and that, I don't know, that's decentralization, right? And so we're going to get uh, 23. I'm not going to... Um, can we zoom this so you can see? Or... Oh, no. Interesting. No, they're both. Okay, you got to do both. Interesting UI there. No, you got... You know, you're, you're... Um, okay, kind of... That's where we get. Okay. Um, so I'm not, so you go, you go here and then you download it, right? And you like, I want the Linux 64 uh, bit one. So you, you know, copy. I'm not going to do it because it actually, this internet's kind of slow. Um, but I'm just going to do it on the desktop because, yeah. Okay. Here's my desktop. Oh, shoot. With the two screens. Um, okay. So desktop, no, where did I put it? Mm. Okay, and then I'm on desktop, tar, uh, x, yeah, x, yeah. No, oh, hold on. I, this worked great on one screen. I thought it'd be able to mirror it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to download Bitcoin, right? So I've got my... Okay, here we go. Got Bitcoin here. And I've got this zip file and put it in here and I extract, right? Okay, fine. Open with Archive Manager. Here it is, Bitcoin 23. So this is what I did with my friends. Because they have Linux, right? They can download zip file, you know, tar GZ and then, okay, here you go. Okay, read me. Well, how do I run this? Um, oh boy. Well, let's open it in a normal editor uh, ebook. Okay, so the read me has no mention of how to use Bitcoin. Zero, right? There's just, okay, yeah, I already know that. Uh, license, development process, testing, automated testing, contributing, manual quality assurance, translation, nothing. You know, you can, okay, so that doesn't help. Uh, bin. Well, I want a Bitcoin wallet. Uh, well, yeah, just, I don't know, run it. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know what, does anyone here know what that binary does? <laughs> no, really, I have no idea what it, and I asked like, Sipa at Chainco, like, do you know what it, that, yeah, no one, I, no one knows what it does that I know. Uh, I don't know what any of these binaries do. <laughs> they're there, they're decent size, they're, they're, that's 36 megs of stuff. Anyway, you gotta click Bitcoin QT, right? None of these other ones will do anything. Uh, this one does something. That one does something, but that's in command line. Uh, and so for a normal person who's like, I want to run Bitcoin, you got to know that it's QT. Um, so one of my friends was like, how am I supposed to know that? Posts on Twitter. Uh, and some people said, like, well, you just need to know how to use computers. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Oh, wait, Bitcoin QT doesn't run on this? What? Why does it, that should happen? Am I in? Wait, I got this to work before. Boy. <laughs> but I did get this to work. Open with it just opens. It's a binary. Do I need to to go in and um permissions? Do you think? Okay, so uh okay. Oh, I got that one either. I'm gonna try that one next. Um. They're runnable. Okay, pretend this worked by clicking. <laughs> and like, okay, default data. I don't know. Yeah, go for it. 
Okay, it's doing it. It's, I got it to work, right? And this, my friend, they, they got this far. One year later. No, and then they're like, okay, let's do this. Create a new wallet. <sighs> 14 years. I don't know what a descriptor wallet is. Use descriptors for script pub team in. This is actually like, you know, I don't want to name names. This is one of my friends. This is what they stopped at. They said, I don't know, right? Use descriptors for script pub team management. It's checked. If I uncheck this, do I lose all my money? Right? They said, okay, I try, you know, I have the eight binaries and no, got it to work. You know, you're helping. I'm out. Here's what they said. I'm out. Okay. And so they said, nope. Not making a wallet. I don't know what any of this. This sounds bad, right? This sounds bad. This no idea. But it's checked, so I should leave it checked. Okay, I'm I'm leaving my money on Gemini, and that's what that's what it is right now. Their money is still on Gemini, and I think it sucks, right? Like it seems like a low hanging fruit. Okay, so that's the first example. And now let's say I've got oh, Bitcoin V running. So so it's go. Okay, great. Now I get. Uh, Lightning, I downloaded it from GitHub. I got the LND. It's just the LND release has all these. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. Um, it's. I put it uh, here. Oh, there's a bin. Uh, eh, eh, okay. And now. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, got it. This one only says command line, but like, you know, let's try it. And, okay, Bitcoin.active, it, it, you, you, it's like 20 steps to get it to work. Um, <laughs> it, it, what? Bitcoin, dot, sorry. But yeah, and then, then it asks for um, BTCD. And you have to change, um, yeah, so it's like, hey, I'm connecting to BTCD. Um, and I'm like, well, I don't want to. So then you try to go into to the LND folder to change the config file, but it's not there yet because it hasn't generated that folder because you haven't successfully started to the point where it'll generate the config file to let you change the config to config con to connect to the Bitcoin B that's that's already half synchronized. Out. Okay, so these are like reasons and like. It's frustrating because like I've worked with so many people and I've worked myself on all these cool technologies and all this cryptography and then like that's what that's the funnel that stops people. Um, and yeah, okay. So it was easier when I started using Bitcoin. I think it was around this version. It was before BlueMap put encryption for wallet.net in because I know it, it never asked for a password to encrypt the wallet. So this was a while ago. Um, it was easier. You download it, it just runs. There was no Bitcoin, there was only that one binary, and it was like, oh, it kind of works. So I, I think Satoshi and then the people later had, you know, it was all integrated. It's kind of nice. Um, so I want to point out to people, like, so a lot of people here are going to be working on Bitcoin. And obviously, I like working on the cool cryptographic stuff and all these, you know, protocols. But I do want to, like, think about that. And I always want to test things with, like, my dad. Because my dad's running a full node. Um, and he's running Bitcoin Core. I think it's a bit of older version. He's not updating, but whatever. Um, and he syncs it up every weekend, plugs it in. And my dad running Bitcoin Core resulted in, I think, two changes to Bitcoin Core. Because he would tell me stuff that was like, it was, um, he would back to before, and he's like, real smart. He like, never got into Bitcoin because he was like working, and, and then he retired. It's like, and then I go to Thanksgiving, and he'd be like, so the, G, you know, generator of the curve. Like, who determines the point G? And I'm like, whoa, okay, he's <laughs> learning about Bitcoin. Uh, and then he, then he, you know, a couple months later, he's like, okay, I'm going to buy Bitcoin. I understand it now. And I'm like, okay, like, you could have bought it when I told you in 2013, but he wanted to, you know, learn it. So he's running it. He backed up wallet.dat onto a USB stick, uninstalled Bitcoin, reinstalls, tried to restore, and he couldn't restore. Because it only, at the time, now it works. At the time, it would only load wallet.dat from the big .bitcoin folder. So you had to manually put, put the file back in. And I told him that, and he's like, it's not there. I'm like, yeah, it's a hidden folder. And he's like, I, what? You know, so, <laughs> so that's fixed. But it also feels like that's not how this should work, where like, I'm helping my dad run Bitcoin Core, and I know all the people who work on Bitcoin Core, and then I bug them, because like, hey, my dad's trying this. Um, so <laughs> there's... There's papers and, and a good analogy, and this is what I worry about. This is like 
more than scalability and all these things. I worry that Bitcoin's going to become like PGP or GPG because it feels like it's going that way. And I'm like, ah, no. Um, so there's a paper called Why Johnny Can Encrypt. I would, uh, there's a link in the replit thing. It's, it's from 1999 and they have a bunch of college students and they're saying, hey, uh, encrypt a message to someone else. You know, you got 20, you know, undergrads. They're like, I think they were CS students. It's like, here, here's this software. Uh, exchange pub keys, encrypt a message, send it to your friend. Uh, and I think a couple of people did it, but like most people did not. And I know this is also the case because I, you know, worked at MIT for like five years. Uh, Ron Rivest, who's a professor there, who is the R in RSA, which is, you know, widely used. He would do this kind of stuff in class. And he would say, okay, everyone use GPG and like send me an encrypted email. And so if you look on, on PGP key servers, there are hundreds of Ron Rivests because so many students like registered their own key as Ron Rivest. <laughs> and so there's just like tons of old Ron Rivest keys. And you're like, well, are all these your keys? It's like, no, like these are students who were trying to send me a message and they registered their key as mine. And yeah. So there's also uh, why Johnny still can't encrypt, why Johnny still still can't encrypt. So like this hasn't changed. Right, so this was you know a couple days ago. I was like, "Well, how does GPG? I use GPG, but like you type GPG, it's like type your message and then you press Control D. I don't even know what that's supposed to do. Uh, I have done key signing parties with lots of other Bitcoin developers. I have never successfully gotten GPG to tell me like, yes, this is Fanquake's signature. It always says it's untrust. It's always gives some weird error that it's not trusted, and then I have to set like um." trust and it's like do you trust fanquake uncon unconditionally and i'm like i don't know like i'm friends with him but like do i trust him with my life like i he seems like a nice guy like so i set unconditionally to all the keys and it still gives me this like this key is unknown or something so i'm pretty sure i'm doing it right but it doesn't say i am so this is still the case right um but I, what i want to say is like people will jump through hoops right people still run bitcoin core like so this is LimeWire, because no, this is DC++, Direct Connect++, which was like, you know, early 2000s file sharing kind of thing. Still popular in Russia, I guess. Um, you can download stuff. Like, it's not good UI. Like, I don't know if people have used uTorrent or like some of these, like, Napster was okay UI, but like, people will jump through hoops to get what they want. And so like, people will run Bitcoin Core, even despite all this, but you're competing with like Coinbase. Right or like you know exchanges or like really easy software that and there's some wallets that as far as I can tell are closed source and to me closed source is basically custodial like is the key on here yeah maybe but who knows um, so I wanted to like yeah we got yeah, 10 15 minutes discussion points so I've talked to people about this in the last couple of weeks months I don't know and some people are like just run you know Umbrella or Rasp High Blitz or Casanote or you know th there's all these companies that are like look here's a node in a box <sighs> yeah I, I don't want to like you know trash those companies like that's that's a cool thing to build you know people want that but also like why res you know why Raspberry Pis <laughs> like Raspberry Pis are like hundreds of dollars now and they're not a good deal and you can just use an old computer with with Linux or Windows on it you know Windows for example most most people who have computers run Windows I know maybe not in this room but like in the world and like at MIT yeah, it's this kind of fun process where you'd see kids sort of hazing other kids and they're like, bro, Windows, bro. And then by the time they're seniors, they're all running Linux. But like the class I taught, a lot of people were running Bitcoin in Windows and that was part of the homework was like, okay, install Bitcoin, run testnet. And uh, some people couldn't get testnet to work because in Windows, you make bitcoin.conf and say testnet equals one. Windows notepad.exe renames it, it's, it's, it's bitcoin.conf.txt and Bitcoin won't recognize that and it doesn't show that in the UI. So, yeah, so it's hard. Um, Raspberry Pi is a nice standard, but it's not, you know, it does seem like another layer of trust. It's the sort of, okay, we've added this other standard, it feels kind of like Docker or something. Um, I, I do think it, it'd be great if people could run stuff without buying any new hardware, without buying anything and, and out, you know, um, and then some people said, look, you can't have something that's easy for normal users and is sort of enterprisey, right? Bitcoin Core has moved more towards, you know, expert users and it's, you know, really dropped off for like normally home users and that's sort of a conscious choice. Like, like last year at one of the core dev meetups, people were like, let's just get rid of the UI. Like no one wants to maintain it. Let's get rid of Bitcoin QT. It's just Bitcoin D. <laughs> and they're like, no one uses the UI. I'm like, guys, everyone I know 
who I tell to run Bitcoin Core and fully validate, they all use the UI. Yeah. So it's, you know, and that, there's this sort of disconnect between developers and who's using it. Yeah, we, we, um, developers are not the users. I mean, so yeah, like I like making software that I want to run, but I also have to know that like I'm not most of the users. Um, so, and that might be a point, like yeah, maybe we need multiple packages. There are, there's Bitcoin Core, but there's also these other versions, but none of them are easier, right? Like if you run BTCD, it's not like it's better, or some of the new ones may go Rust Bitcoin. Yeah, it, it's, it's cool that there's different ones. And then, you know, Electrum, which is easier to use, still not perfect, but it's not a full node. Right? There is no sort of Bitcoin core version that looks or acts like Electrum. So that'd be something kind of cool. And then the one I kind of, you know, they were saying, let's get the UI of Bitcoin core. It's like, why is that? Why do, and this is not just Bitcoin. Like, it does seem that um, open source projects have a hard time with UI, right? It seems that like there are, you know, UI developers who want to work on open source, but it does seem that that's one of the like real weak points where like Linux kernel, like, top tier, like there's nothing better in the world and it's all open source and everyone works on it. But like, you know, uh, I, whatever, XFCE or X Windows or Wayland, yeah, no, it's not, it's not as good. And, and it does seem like, you know, why is this? How do we get more people working on that? I don't know, like, is it a prestige thing where like, oh, I'm working on these cool cryptographic algorithms and that's like prestigious, but I feel like Apple is the most valuable company in the history of the civilization and it's because they have good UI. Like, that's it. Like, you know, now they have the best chips and hardware and stuff. But 10, 20 years ago, they had kind of crummy stuff. It was like PowerPC, and then they run on Intel. And, like, it wasn't any faster. It wasn't better. It's just better UI. And that's why they got a lot of people using it, got a lot of money. So, I don't know. Like, that's that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so we have, I don't know how long. Um, what do you guys think? This is my last slide. Yep. And let's, you know, we can argue and, like, people are, no, this is okay. Or... You know, some people like, maybe it's okay if Bitcoin is like GPG, and as long as it like stays true. And other people like, you know, we don't want to dilute it if we make it like too easy or I don't know. So, um, and then I bet there's people in here who have the same problem, right? Or like, I don't, you know, I know lots of people who even use Bitcoin. They're like, I don't want to manage my own node. It's too hard. So, okay, we can discuss any questions. Yeah, like who wants to, yeah. <laughs> 